in this video I'm going to teach you how to get the Cyanogen Mod 9 launcher up and running which is called the Trebuchet launcher. For those of you not familiar with it, it's based heavily on the stock Galaxy Nexus launcher. Um, so if you want to get this up and running, there are two conditions uh, which you must meet. The first is that your device must be rooted and the second is that you must be running Android 4.0.1 or higher. If you're anything lower than that, this will not work for you. So if you're on uh, Gingerbread or Froyo and you're looking to mimic the um, ice cream sandwich stock theme, I'm sorry but this video will not work for you. I might make another one in the future if perhaps someone requests it. So <clears throat> if you have any problems uh, with following this method, the most likely place to get help is from this um, XDA forum thread post which will be in the description and the developer of that is Nebcast. So if you have any problems try you know try posting in here because this is where the developer's thread is. Um, <clears throat> you will be putting a file in the system folder of your phone which means it's highly unlikely but you could permanently damage your device if you do something wrong so you're following this video at your own risk. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I will show a demonstration of the launcher later on in the video so actually I'll just put an annotation here now so if you want to see what the launcher looks like click here okay so with that said there are two methods to get this up and running on your device <coughs> either way you must download this file which is just a little ways down on the first post of the thread in the description download the trebuchet.apk if you're looking to put it uh, on your, if you're looking to make it run rather on your phone via ADB shell, these are the instructions right here. Okay, if you're not sure how to get ADB shell up and running, I have a video tutorial on that here. And then once you learn how to do it, just follow these instructions. But I'm going to show you a different method <coughs> how to get it up and running on your phone while using uh, Root Explorer. I will put the link for Root Explorer in the description of the video. I, it's a highly recommended app. It's superb. So basically, um, if you're following my method, which I'll be showing you right now, you should get the Trebuchet APK from here and copy and paste it into your internal SD card. Okay. So once that's done, you open Root Explorer, uh, hit SD card, go all the way down, find Trebuchet.apk, long press on it, press copy, go back once, hit System, and app. Remember you're tampering with the system folder so if anything goes wrong you're doing so like following this video at your own risk. Okay so while you're in this system folder and then inside the app folder um, what you need to do I want to make sure you can focus this because this is really important in root explorer there's a little button up here it says mount r slash w tap on that so it changes to mount r slash o otherwise it won't work okay and press paste I'm not going to press paste because I already have it in here just for the sake of saving time and once that's done <clears throat> actually I need to go back to that so once you paste it in here find trebuchet.apk long press on it and hit permissions your permissions should read like this um, I suggest you pause the video here if you need to co mimic this this might be a bit extra but it's enough to make it work so if you have to pause the video and copy this exact same permission setting and uh, once that's done what I might recommend you do is restart your phone to make everything settle properly try not to use it off the bat restart the phone first and it should be okay so if you want to select it what you do is hit the home button trebuchet okay this is just giving you a little warning um, instructional type of thing and here you have it. Here is the um, when you open the apps listing t the first two times, it gives you these annoying little instructions. So here is the uh, Trebuchet launcher. Uh, it tries to mimic the Galaxy Nexus as much as possible, and like I said, it's also based on Cyanogen Mod 9 launcher. You got the Google search bar up here. Um, you got the app listing, and notice the transition effect as it fades and merges just like the Galaxy Nexus okay and of course you can select your widgets from here uh, to put something on here you can't you can't just long press on the screen uh, it'll give you the wallpaper selection 
in order to get something on this uh, home screen, what you do is say for, I don't know, um, after focus, long press on an app and drag it somewhere on the screen. Then it'll show up. Same for widgets. Long press on, um, I don't know, beautiful widgets, drag it wherever you want, and then it'll work. All right. Uh, there was one issue I had where on gingerbread if you long press on it it gives you um, a list of shortcuts you can put like a, a direct dial like if you wanted to dial someone directly with trebuchet you can still do that but what you need to do is hit widgets and go over to direct dial and then it'll give you the option of which contact you want to put there so I had a little trouble figuring that out because technically it's not a widget it's actually a shortcut but it's listed in the widget section as is direct message if the camera will focus well I'll say it out loud and you, you get the idea anyway so there are a few features and functions to play with if you hit the menu button from the home screen hit trebuchet settings I'm not gonna go through them if you got this far I suggest you play around with it um, but you get the gist of it I mean it's mimics the CyanogenMod mod 9 system and the Galaxy Nexus like I said so that's how you get it up and running and that's just a quick overview of what it looks like even though it's extremely blurry because my camera doesn't like me today I guess. So if you found this video useful hit the like button it does help. Subscribe to my channel check out my website for technology news or rumors and thanks for watching.